Hey everybody, I asked Scott to do a video for those who have spouses and loved ones that struggle. You want them to do better. And this is his take on how he stayed with me and allowed me to find my way myself. And I just wanted to share this with you guys. I hope you enjoy it. Hello everybody, this is Right Brain, AKA Scott, Amanda's spouse. And today I'm going to talk about uh, a few things that has been posted in questions and comments for nine months. Please like, comment, and subscribe. We can help more people find good, healthy living, good relationships through the carnivore diet. So a lot of people have asked, how was I so loyal to Amanda for almost 10 years? Through all the bad eating, through all the bad choices, through all the health things like GERD and bad sleep to the point where Amanda was so depressed that she would tell me she wished she didn't wake up in the morning. I'm gonna talk about that today. How you do that, or how I did that, was by loving her where she was at. And I was only able to do that because I found harmony in my life from my choices earlier on before I met her. I was able to be so patient because I understood that I had to love Amanda where she was at, not where I wanted her to be. She had to discover agency. I'll explain that in a little bit. I want to read you a quote from Marilyn Ferguson. No one can persuade another to change. Each of us guard a gate of change that can only be opened from the inside. We cannot open the gate of another either through argument or by emotional appeal. I understood fundamentally that I couldn't make a man to eat well. Even if I was eating well and trying to be a good example, she had to learn it herself. She had to learn agency. She had to choose it herself. She had to choose it herself. In order for her to do that, I had to be patient and I had to be loving. And I only found that by learning three things for myself to find harmony and balance in my own life before I met Amanda. I want to talk about that real quick. I found harmony through learning three life lessons. Uh, the first was grace. The second was self-reflection. And the third was responsibility. I found that these three things gave me balance in life. And I speak balance in the sense of a bicycle. When you start riding a bicycle or trying to teach somebody to ride a bicycle, you can talk about balance as much as you, you can. You can describe it, how they, they stay upright without falling over. But until the person like does it, then they get balance. Once they learn balance, they have it forever. They understand it. And then it's just a matter of practice. Okay, so I learned what grace was uh, through the Bible, through uh, Christianity when I was much younger, that grace is unearned forgiveness. I didn't learn how to apply that really until much later in life. When I was struggling with some relationships, I was very lonely, and I saw one of my friends rekindle a relationship that was very, being very successful, I kind of had to look. I went through a course called Landmark Education. Through that, I learned the application of grace, which is really about forgiving myself for all of my flaws, for all the things I've done in the past, for the mistakes I've done. I learned self-reflection going through the landmark form. Amanda learned self-reflection through going to the hospital. It can be learned a couple of different ways. Self-reflection helps you identify and look at where your behavior has landed you where you're at. By looking at myself and my past behavior, I was able to see that I was the major problem for all my failed relationships. I was a problem why my career was not advancing. I was responsible, which is the third thing, which is letting go in the past. Your choices were the reason. My choices were the reason. Accepting responsibility is what helped me let go of the past. And I learned the responsibility actually through my dad. Again, another source. You can learn self-reflection, grace, and letting go of the past from multiple different sources. I just think these are key things to learn. When you accept responsibility for your past actions, you give yourself grace, and you let go, you can start planning for the future. You can accept where you are is where you are. When I met Amanda, I was at a place where I accepted all of my choices that I made, and I was at peace. And I said, okay, I don't have a uh, career. I don't have lots of money. Uh, I don't have 
uh, my bachelor's done, but I do have myself and I have my integrity. I have my good heart that I like to help people and I care about people. I learned what I cared about, which is care about people, which opened the door for Amanda. When I was able to be in harmony with myself, love myself for all my different choices where I was at. If I had finished school and became an engineer, maybe I never would have met Amanda. If I had done different video games or not played as much of, as I did, because I met Amanda through a video game. And it was my just grace and cheer and fun was led us to start talking. All of those choices I had to accept responsibility for and accept where I was at and understood what I had to offer, love myself. And that allowed me to see Amanda for the wonderful woman that she is, that cares about people, that loves people, will give them grace, and is genuinely, genuinely interested in making the world a better place. That is what helped me stay for almost 10 years we've been together, loving her, waiting for her to discover her own responsibility and her own power to live the life that she wants to live. And she did a different method. I just want to kind of point this out again. She did it through reading Jordan Peterson. She learned about self-reflection. She learned about responsibility. Trip to the hospital kind of slapped her upside the head. But this is why we believe in you. It's because we understand anybody can learn these things. Anybody can accomplish this by accepting responsibility, by looking at the truth, giving yourself grace. Those are the three things that will give you peace and balance in your life, that will give you love for yourself and others. Because it is so hard to stay close to somebody, to love them. If you don't love yourself, you become embittered. That is how Amanda and I have been successful for almost 10 years together, is that we find these things and we let each other discover in, in our own actions what we're doing that is not along that lines of not letting go of the past. This video was for those that were struggling with their spouses or their loved ones, not living the life that they really want for them. They want better. You can't make them change. The best thing you can do is show them how to love themselves by your own actions, finding your own harmony, finding the truth, letting go of the past, and giving grace for yourself and for your loved ones. Thank you for taking the time to listen. I hope you got something useful out of it. And as always, we love and respect you and believe in you. We'll talk to you soon. We'll talk to you soon. Hey guys, don't forget we have book clubs Tuesdays and Sundays and our next meetup is also going to be April 22nd in the Seattle area. Go to the descriptions for more details and the link to do that.